with KCAL 9 News at 4 from Holmby Hills, where law enforcement found a massive cache of weapons. We're told there are hundreds, perhaps thousands, at the home on North Beverly Glen near Sunset Boulevard. Officers had all the guns piled up in the driveway. They served a warrant to the home around 4 this morning, and they're still out there 12 hours later trying to sort all this out. Federal agents say the operation is part of an investigation with the LAPD. Now let's go live to Stu Mundell for more on that. Stu, we're, we're, we're gobsmacked here. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, take a look at that. There are a lot of guns. You can't even put a number on how many are out here. Handguns, rifles, and did, we don't know okay. the reason why there was a warrant served here at 4.30 in the morning, but this is what the officers from the ATF and LAPD found. This is Holby Hills. This is a very exclusive neighborhood. We're basically right at the corner of Beverly Glen and Sunset. A lot of people driving by have no idea what's going on behind those shrubs right there, but you can see the officers from ATF are out here right now sorting through all those guns, basically probably just inventorying all the uh, weapons that they found out here. Not sure, again, the reason why that they are here to do this, but we do know a warrant was served, some sort of investigation ongoing brought these officers and law enforcement to this home, and this is what they found, a huge number of guns right now, ATF, LAPD are out here inventorying what they have, and probably going to be taking all this stuff away. Live in Sky 2, uh, excuse, excuse me, Sky 9, over Holby Hills, Mr. Mandel, back to you too, Mr. Wow. Yeah, we will stay on top of the story throughout the evening for you. Uh, Stu Massive amount of weapons you can see from these still photos taken by the LAPD. As far as we know about what happened right now, is that the LAPD, as they got a tip about the, the weapons in this home, came to this home and raided it at about 4.30 this morning. Take a look at some chopper video here, as uh, you can see the agents and LAP officers still here on the scene. So they got this tip and the gang enforcement group and also the ATF agents came here to the scene. As far as we know, only one person is in custody. We don't know their connection to either the home or the weapons. Right now, the LAPD is saying they're trying to figure out exactly what this person or this organization was doing with the weapons. I asked if these were being sold to gangs or somebody else, if this was terror related. All of that is still under investigation at this point. They're not certain what was going to be done with these or if these weapons were legally purchased. If they were stolen, they have to check all of the serial numbers. But certainly a very frightening discovery. We talked to neighbors here in the area. Obviously, they're very disturbed by this. And we also spoke with a rabbi whose synagogue is just right around the corner from here. And he's friends with the rabbi at the Poway Synagogue at Chabad there. And he says, this obviously is just horrible. As you can see, the weapons are of all makes and calipers uh, and models. And there's over a thousand. This is a big, a big stash, you may kind of say, uh, that's beyond uh, you know, just beyond uh, comprehension. This morning we saw that it was taped off and I haven't been back since. What do you think about all this? It's kind of very scary, so we're surprised. Yeah, okay. so we just, I'm stunned. As anyone probably would be if you live near a home where thousands are maybe thousands of weapons were found. Right now you're looking live at that house. Agents from the ATF and LAPD still here on scene trying to piece this all together and obviously trying to make contact with whoever lives or owns this house. We will, of course, stay on scene here and gather more. We'll have more of an update for you on CBS2 News at 5. Reporting live in Humby Hills, I'm Tom Wade. Back to you. Wow. It's a shocking scene. A massive amount of guns, rifles, and ammunition laid out in front of that home. Yeah, shocking to say the least. Now we are learning more about that huge collection and the man who's now out of custody. CBS2's Kyra Fincham is live outside the mansion in Humby Hills. And Kyra, is there any sign of the suspect right now? DeMarco, we have not seen him here yet, but just behind us, that is the home, the mansion where that massive raid took place. We know he was being held on $50,000 bail and that he posted bond shortly after nine this morning. Let's get right to a video image of 57-year-old Gerard Damien Sands. This was captured as he was arrested yesterday. Sands is suspected of manufacturing, possessing, and selling assault weapons and certain rifles. We also have video to show you of the massive stockpile of more than one 
10,000 guns that were recovered. LAPD detectives and ATF agents pulled them out of the Holby Hills mansion saying it was one of the largest weapon caches they've seen, but they also stress that the sheer number of weapons found isn't illegal. An LAPD lieutenant said the tip that triggered the raid and the crimes are now investigating involve the personal manufacture and sell of weapons without alerting government entities or securing the needed forms or licenses. Now neighbors want to know more about the alleged buyers. If they're not being sold through a, a, a licensed store, then you don't know who's getting them and where they're going. And we're giving you another look at the gates of the home just for context here. We're not far from the Playboy Mansion and a couple doors down is a home that is on the market right now for over $6 million. Now, uh, DeMarco and Suzanne, we can also tell you that Sands has been arrested before back in 2017, but he was quickly released at that point for a lack of evidence. And those charges uh, involved uh, intimidation. Pat Jeff, you said it. There are so many questions tonight about this massive find. It's really surreal when you look at these pictures. The police who went inside said room to room were stacked with guns. So the question is, what was the owner doing with them? Photos from the LAPD show the mind-boggling stockpile of weapons. Investigators on scene say easily more than a thousand guns of hundreds of makes and models, including assault weapons, were found at the home here on Beverly Glen near Sunset. These thousands of weapons of all makes, models, and calibers, some range from back to the Civil War, some also as old as 50 years plus, and some modern day weapons. LAPD raided the home along with the ATF after they got a tip that weapons were being made and sold here. But whether this was a collection or something more sinister is unclear. We asked the LAPD where the owner may have been selling the guns. I don't have that information. That's part of the investigation it's still ongoing, and those details will be revealed later. Police arrested this man at the home. He'll be charged with unlawful selling and transportation of an assault weapon. Whatever was going on at this house, neighbors, including a rabbi from a nearby synagogue, were rattled by the spectacle. I mean, I'm right up the road over there, and you get scared. What? What, what is it? You want to have a thousand bottles of water in your house? Go get a thousand bottles of water. A thousand guns? I mean, do you see what's going on here? Very scary, so we're surprised. And we just learned that the suspect's name is Gerard Sands, and as you heard, he's facing the unlawful selling of a firearm and assault weapon charge. We also have learned tonight that he could face additional federal charges. We did ask also if there were any drugs found in the home. Police said there were none. Reporting live in Holmby Hills, I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.